Hey everybody. You guys really seem to love my transformation videos and I really enjoy doing them. I've done a few but this time I really wanted to challenge myself. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Uh, this is more or less what I usually look like. I don't tend to deviate very much from this look. And while you're here, please click the red button below to subscribe. And after I saw this rather beautiful wig for sale on the internet, I got inspired. So tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Kylie Jenner. I'm going to try and transform into Kylie Jenner. <laughs> I'm taking my inspiration from this picture here in particular because I thought that this look of hers was my favorite of all of them, maybe because the hair is slightly crazy, but I think that looks really cool. I like that hair. I know hardly anything about the whole Kardashian Jenner clan show thing. I don't know what they I don't know why they're all so famous and I didn't know who Kylie Jenner was until that stupid lip plumping challenge came around. Remember that? But I thought that becoming Kylie would be a really fun idea. Uh, not only because it's a big challenge for me personally as I have very little experience with the kind of makeup that she wears. But when we think of her we do think of transformation. I have no idea what I'm about to do, so with that, alright, let's go. Hair is down, smooth and tied out of the way. I've got primer on and my natural eye colour. I've got a really great wig to put on later, uh, you'll see. Kylie wears a lot of white and warm neutral colours, uh, the likes of which I own zero, but she's often in black, so we're good, we're good. Taking out all my piercings, my face feels naked. Kylie has a very different skin tone to me. Her skin is more yellow toned while mine is pink. So I'm wearing a pink based but much darker than my usual foundation. So I look less pale but not jaundiced. Fortunately this foundation is buildable so I can apply another coat to simulate Kylie's flawless visage. This may seem like a light colour, but it's pretty dark compared to my usual. And setting it with a clear powder. Trying to achieve a natural looking contour to vaguely replicate the shape of her face on my own bone structure. I can't do that fancy contouring that people do these days, I, I just can't. Highlight babe, yes! Highlighting my cheekbones, brow, nose and fill drum. Girl, yes, get that glow happening. Ugh. Now, it looks like she's not wearing a lot of makeup, but it's probably stacks. Now, starting with the eyes, I'm putting a matte brown on my lids. A little underneath, too. Then attempting a subtle crease with a dark brown. I made it way too heavy, so I'm blending it with a finger like a true MUA. Patting a light peach on the centre of my lids. And adding more to the inner corners. Now I'm having a go at contouring my nose to make it narrower, lol. Brushing the tiniest bit of black eyeshadow along the lash line with an angled brush. Herein lies the greatest challenge for me, how to get my eyebrows on fleek when I have none at all. Okay, so I'm outlining a basic shape with a pencil. And using the dark brown shadow to fill them in, kind of blending it at the insides. Putting a wee bit of black eyeshadow in there as well. And finally taking some mascara on a spoolie and dabby stroking it on so it looks like real hair. What I understand about fleeky eyebrows is that outlining them in white makes them somehow better. Not too terrible, what do you think? Must resist temptation to use too much eyeliner. Normally I have so much black around my eyes that if I smear mascara it doesn't matter, uh, but this time I'm being pretty careful. While we wait for the glue on the false lashes to set, oh man I've got Kylie's old lips. What's a Kylie transformation without the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? I'm using a small lipstick cap. Please don't do this by the way, please. We all know it's stupid. Putting a lively pink blush on my cheeks. And since Kylie likes warm colours, I'm dusting a warm shimmery copper over that and a bit around my eyes. 
Since I can't afford lip implants, I have to bust out all my tricks for larger looking lips. Dusting a gentle shadow underneath and in the corners, overlining the shit out of them. She doesn't have much of a cupid's bow, so neither shall I. Applying a matte pink lipstick and then a matte brown over top and combining them with my finger to achieve a similar colour to that in the picture. Okay, that's makeup finished. I think that's all right. Time to change my hair. This is the Kylie inspired wig I found on avahair.com. Now I've covered my hair with this sexy wig cap, I can put on this most excellent lace front wig. It's really long and thick and natural looking. I like it. Bam! Brushy brushy. I don't really know what to do with it. I guess it's fine as it is. So, guess I'm finished. How did we do? Wow, this wig is so immense. It's so long and so thick. I keep like leaning on it. I feel I feel really weird looking in the mirror. I think I did a reasonably good job. I'm actually quite proud of myself. <laughs> considering I thought this would be an absolute disaster. Considering I've had very little practice or experience with this kind of makeup and you know the sort of look in general. <laughs> I think I didn't do too badly. <laughs> For me, I, I feel like I look really tanned and I, I think these eyebrows are okay. How do you think I did? Yes, yes, let's let's compare. Who wore it better? Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. I feel so ready for Instagram. I feel so ready to go to like award shows. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've certainly enjoyed making it. I feel so different. <laughs> I also hope that if Kylie ever sees this that she also enjoys it and that the green hair was my favourite. Do let me know in the comments how you thought I did. As always if you have any ideas of other transformation videos you'd like to see me have a go at. Uh, I think you guys always come up with really good ideas. As always take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, thanks for the inspiration Kylie and we'll see you next time. Bye!